suspended after a BBC undercover investigation at one of the largest care homes in England. Panorama filmed elderly residents being mocked, bullied, and in one case, well, the Care Quality Commission has started legal action against more than 1,200 homes in England over the last three years because of serious failings in care. More than 400 are still not meeting minimum standards, which adds up to more than 15,000 beds. Our social affairs correspondent, Alison Holt, has this exclusive report. And from the very beginning, there are images and language you may find distressing. Where is the care here? All right, bitch. This is how a care assist responded to a confused elderly man after he called her a bitch for washing his private parts without warning. The undercover filming in tonight's panorama reveals how another care worker at the old deanery residential home near Braintree seems to escalate things with an elderly woman with early stage dementia. Then she slaps her. No! No! The woman who has been slapped is called Joan Madison. She's partially paralysed. We showed the film to her daughter with an expert in elderly care with her. I feel like I've let her down. I've let everybody down that trusted me. I begged, I pleaded, I fought like a tiger to get the funding to get her in there. Until we have every single care home and care setting working to the standard of a zero tolerance of abuse, and that's what this is, we have to keep saying this is not acceptable. An undercover panorama reporter working as a care assistant at the home did see good care and smart facilities, but also witnessed some residents treated roughly or waiting too long for help. The old deanery says the woman who slapped a resident has been dismissed. The home has also apologised unreservedly for the failings of a small number of staff. At another care home, secret filming released by the family the first time shows the distress poor care caused their late mother, Yvonne Grant. She called nurse 321 times before anyone came. Unable to walk, she was desperate for someone to help her to the toilet, but it was two and a half hours before she was actually taken. I knew that something wasn't right, but exactly what, I don't know. Well, I didn't know until I put in the camera. Two care assistants were convicted of common assault for the poor treatment the camera recorded. The home, open house in South Croydon, described Yvonne's care in December 2012 as totally unacceptable. It now meets all essential standards. Most homes for older people do meet necessary standards, but campaigners want no room for poor care. We have a long way to go in terms of making sure we have a care system in this country which is fit for purpose. And that's about making sure it's properly funded, that it's properly regulated, and that more importantly, it's centred around the individuals that it's meant to be caring for. And this social care expert says homes need to ensure they are getting the fundamentals right. It's about having the right staff who are paid well, who are valued for their work, who are supported, and it's about having a culture of openness and transparency. And with the pressures of an ageing population, that couldn't be more important. Alison Holt, BBC News. You guys